Hi guys, a big, big congratulations from all the organisers of the LDN on your winning entry. So here's your feedback from the judges. Are the filmmakers? They're not here, are they? They're in Spain. No, but let's hear the feedback. Right. Yeah. Okay. I thought that the. Uh... Oh, I like to say, I think Maria's recording it. Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah, Someone's recording well. it. <laughs> <laughs> Two cameras. Yeah, um, I, uh, we all agreed that this stylistically was tremendous. The way that it was put together was beautiful, it was really good, it, was, it really hit me hard. The, uh, the posters at the beginning and his. Do you know what? Something about the way he said, help animals, please, in his <laughs> accent English, I felt really um, connected immediately. I felt, I, I was like, who is this person? He sounds desperate. He sounds he, like he really means what he says. And that really connected me straight away to him and, to, and, and made me want to go on the journey with him. So that was great. Um, and what I liked about this is, and Nick's going to give a piece of criticism that completely negates what I'm about to say, but what this film does really well is we spend a day with him where he's trying to achieve something. He's trying to convince the people who come to his store to give him money and to support. And the obstacles are people are like, who is this guy? Who is this nutter? You know, and, he, one, and he, from the way it's presented, one after the other, he's not back, not back until he shows the naked pictures of himself. And he's like, okay, <laughs> win. Here's some cash. Do you know what I mean? So there's something, so he finally succeeds. And there's a, there is something that happens. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so I liked all that, uh, but Nick's got a really good point to make. <laughs> Thanks for saying it's good rather than going down the whole thing. Well, depends on how you look at it. Uh, so yeah, so here's the thing, and, and so we talked about what makes a good story in, in terms of filmmaking, and, and what this has that none of the others have is an unfolding thing that we're with this guy, yeah? So massive tick. Yeah. Unfortunately for me, it stayed at that level, didn't go under the surface. And there's a character there who's got such a rich backstory, there's something going on in this world that's driven him to get naked and paint himself red and stand there in the street. I don't know the first thing about him as a, as a human being. Yeah. Um, and, and adding that layer in uh, with this great access back transit that you got would have made this an incredibly special piece of work. Did you give an example? What do you mean? That why, is, just, why is he there? Tell, tell me why is, why is he there? We don't know. You know, what, what makes a man stand out there on, on the street? You know, I see him. There's a, there's a danger with this that you're left thinking this is a quirky character. It's cut by someone who's got a real sense of comedy as well. There's some lovely moments there with the Kesselway use and so on. You know, in, in the wrong hands, that could have been someone who you sit and laugh at. And actually, there's nothing wrong with that because there's some funny stuff there, but he's so much more than that. And so, if you allow that depth to come through as well by letting it inside the skin a little bit and play that against the lines of moments, you've got something really textural. Which as a viewer becomes a really powerful viewing experience. Um, amazing subject, great access, a character that I wouldn't expect to be like. He's a funny guy doing doing mad things. I, I expect people like him to be really earnest and, and you know working people. But, but I just want to know more about him. And that's it. So it felt a bit short from that point of view. But scored massive points in other in other ways. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah uh, Again, I agree with you both. It had like a beginning, middle, and end. It was a, a snapshot. It was a great day, but I wanted to know more. I felt like within that, you could have just, even if it was a few lines, you just could have mm -hmm. delved deeper into, as you said, why he's there, what led him to being there, is he there all the time, is this, is this his dedication? And um, they did some really great things with the titles and with the credits. I thought that was great. Uh, for me, the standout thing was the pacing of the edit. They had such a clear understanding of their pacing and it like resonated throughout and created a very strong style and tone, um, which kind of set it apart. Which, yeah, it's good.